Right then guys, <coughs> onto this corner post bit at the moment. So this, I'll go on the end of this unit here, and then there's another unit here to bridge it. So, I haven't really fitted many of these before, so I've just been having a bit of a play. I think I've, I've come up with a good, a good way of securing it. So I've put the door, I've put the door onto this unit here. Got it, got it to open in the right way. And I've just put some little, just some of them, just some little old brackets. I've put one there and one at the bottom here. Because that needs to be fastened onto there like so. But you also need the gap for the dot. So what I've come up with is I'm going to use one of these as a spacer. If I rest that on the door there, if I get this where I want it. And then again on the bottom. So I've got it clamped at the top, clamped at the bottom. So that if I move this door, there we go. That allows it to open quite nicely. So you can see where the bracket is here. So now, let's take, take a screw in your drill. Just simply screw it in. Again, the same at the bottom. So now, can we release the clamps? Move you over here again. That opens quite nicely now. The other thing I've done is obviously once it's other units in here. It butts up to there, so you're going to have a big void here. And if you put any pots or pans or anything in the cupboard, they're just going to fall through this gap that's going to be at the bottom. So I've cut a bit of wood, a 
this one's just gonna simply screw onto there. You're not gonna see see it, so it doesn't need to be painted or anything like that. It's simply just to hide the mess, basically. Two at the top, two at the bottom will be fine. So, we've got the corner post secure, <clears throat> we've filled the gap in at the back, just to stop any pots, pans or whatever you have in the cupboard. And on the next thing, so you can see a bit better now. So yeah, this is the gap I was talking about. So now we need to line this piece up so it's flush with this door and this other unit. Again, I'm gonna use my, these spaces. Just get it absolutely straight. If I can find the other one. But the other thing, we don't want this to be twisted, so we need to maintain this gap. So if I measure from the this wood here, it's about 50 mil. So I'll keep that 50 mil there. No, there's no way of securing this unit to that post to stop it moving. So, so I've just got an off-cut piece of CLS timber. You know I mean, you can use any any wood you want. And that's basically going to go. I'm going to fasten it through here and it's going to screw through to here. So again, just get a clamp. Make sure that's stayed the same distance there to there. Simply screw through. So you can see there, that piece of wood is now screwed to this unit here.
Still got my spacer in there. And now, for the other unit, make sure it's right where you want it. So this door opens nicely now. That door opens nicely. Just thought I'd show that bit because it's quite. I don't really know how to fasten it all together. So next, I'm gonna get all these units leveled down now, and then I'll secure them to the wall. This side's sort of done. I just need to cut out of the hop. But I'll do that. I'll do that. Maybe, we might do that tomorrow after work. Or whatever. So I'm just going to concentrate on this side for now. Get all these leveled out. None of these are. They're not in yet, I'll fasten to the wall or anything, so that's today's job. <laughs> 